Ni Hao from Shanghai, where the Canucks held their first practice on Tuesday morning. This after a lengthy travel day, left their homes about 9 a.m. on Sunday morning. 18 hours later, checking into their hotel in Shanghai about 6 p.m. local time. Although the way the Canucks traveled was first class, to say the least. Now, thanks to a 15-hour time change, the Canucks will try to get over their jet lag, get their bodies on the proper clocks in preparation for the China Games. You fly, you know, all the way, you know, 12 or 13 or whatever, how many hours it was to get here, and, and then you're in China. I mean, it's it was kind of surreal to think about it that way, and um, you now it's, it's pretty cool landing here for the first time. It's going to be a cool experience. I mean, just uh, getting a taste of uh, the city so far from just the drives uh, to the, from the airport to uh, the hotel and the hotel to here is cool. You know, I saw the second largest uh, building in the world, which is uh, pretty cool, and then now to get our first practice under our belt, it's... Uh, it's pretty unique. Now both the Canucks and Kings will practice twice before the first of two exhibition games. That goes Thursday right here at Mercedes-Benz Arena. Friday the two teams will travel to Beijing, take in the Great Wall of China before finishing up the series on Saturday night. Dan Murphy, Sportsnet, Shanghai. So three Canucks games coming this way this week. Uh, Wednesday, they'll be visiting the Flames, technically, on Sportsnet 360. Then, as Murph mentioned, it is two games with the Kings from China. The first Thursday morning right here on Sportsnet, bright and early for you. Check that out. Wow, that is really early, 7.30 a.m. Eastern, 3.30 Pacific.